my name is Paige. I am a, a pediatric orthopedic nurse practitioner. Um, so I'm actually a family nurse practitioner uh, working in the specialty of uh, pediatric orthopedics. Um, tell us about a nurse practitioner. Like if one, someone wants to become a nurse practitioner, what does that require? Um, so that requires a master's degree in uh, nursing. And um, so that, that requires you to have a bachelor's of nursing um, first. There are alternate routes, but that's the most traditional route is a bachelor of nursing. Um, you don't have to work as a nurse first before entering the master's program, but um, most people do work at least a couple of years. Um, I worked about uh, two years in between. Um, and then there are different tracks that you can choose uh, when applying to a master's program. So. Okay, and what is a typical day um, look like for you? Um, so at my job here, I um, mostly work in the clinic. So it's usually um, eight to four, eight to five. Um, and I usually work alongside a pediatric orthopedic surgeon um, running the clinic. Um, but I do have days where I see patients uh, independently on my own um, and I see um, any number of conditions uh, with kids with orthopedic problems ranging from fractures to um, congenital deformities and things like that. Okay, and a lot of people are asked the question of NP versus PA versus MD. What made you um, choose the NP route? And, um, your thoughts on like going versus MD versus NP? What are, you, what are your thoughts? Well, to be honest, I'll clarify uh, the difference between a nurse practitioner and a PA is pretty minimal at this point. Um, I went with a nurse practitioner because I already um, had my bachelor's in nursing, um, and but you end up with a, a pretty much the same role as a PA, uh, just a little bit different route. Um, in terms of a nurse practitioner versus MD, um, it's less school, uh, there's way more flexibility in terms of how you get to the end result of becoming a nurse practitioner. Um, so there's a lot of ways, a lot of different paths you could take. Um, and then um, in terms of your job, you have a lot more flexibility there. Um, obviously you don't get paid as much, but you have a little bit less responsibility. <clears throat> And you have the, the um, flexibility to be able to choose one field and work in it for a couple of years and then decide you don't like it and choose a different field and, um, and work that way. So. Okay. And in terms of pay, what can one expect to make like right, out of, right outside of your, your training for a nurse practitioner? So it depends on the type of practice that you go into. Um, so on, if you look up the average salary for like a pediatric nurse practitioner, it's like $85,000 a year, um, whereas when you get into some of the surgical specialties, um, and I know emergency um, nurse practitioners make a lot more, they make more like uh, upwards of $100,000 a year. So okay. that's roughly what you can expect. All right. Any other advice for students out there that are interested in the field, such as to become a nurse practitioner or a nursing field in general? Um, so I think nursing is a great option for anyone looking for um, job security and also um, flexibility and um, it's great for people that like to work with a team and um, for people that want a lot of responsibility but again kind of work collaboratively with other uh, team members. Awesome. Thank you so much.